The 70s was the first decade that saw teen heartthrobs. They burst onto the scene with unrelenting force to millions of adoring fans. Here are our top picks for hunks from the 70s that made guys realize that they were gay. Rex Smith is perhaps best known as a late 70s, early 80s pinup idol who recorded several albums for Columbia Records, including the album Sooner or Later. The album included the hit single, Take My Breath Away. And that's exactly what he did to many of his fans. He was regularly featured in Teen Beat magazine, ensuring that he was a pin-up punk on the wall of every gay teen's bedroom. Williamis was another heartthrob from the late 70s right into the 80s. He's best known for starring as Tommy in the TV series Eight is Enough, which ran for five seasons. Teen Beat magazine featured him often, ensuring that his popularity as a teen hunk was carried over into the 1980s. He is fondly remembered by gay fans for appearing in the 1981 film Paradise, which was basically a ripoff of Blue Lagoon. But fans didn't care, as long as they saw some skin. Before we continue, we publish videos every week, so remember to subscribe and hit that like button. We also love hearing from you, so please leave a comment. Now back to the video. The TV series Happy Days is synonymous with teen hunk Scott Bayo for good reason. He was just 17 years old when he made his debut in the series back in 1977. He went on to star in various TV series and films which cemented his place in pop culture as a teen hunk. Gay fans loved the fact that he was shirtless most of the time. At the beginning of his career, Jimmy McNichols' popularity quickly grew, causing networks like CBS to create multiple television series specifically with him in mind as the leading star. By the mid-80s, Jimmy became a household name. It seemed you couldn't turn on a TV without seeing him. Luckily, he was cute as well as talented. Robbie Benson rose to prominence as a teen idol in the late 1970s by appearing in the sports films One on One, released in 1977, and Ice Castles, released in 1978. He was known for his boyish good looks and charming personality, which made him a heartthrob among teenage girls and even gay guys. But Benson's talents didn't stop at acting. Now your papa surely knows who I am. He was also a talented singer and songwriter. His music was well received by his fans, and he even had a hit single with the song White Hot. Well, I was born in Dallas, Texas, but I grew up in New York City. His popularity declined at the end of the 80s, and he struggled to keep his acting career alive during the 90s. Kid doing a lot of looping and commercials, and, and uh, I was really excited to get a shot at this. The filmmakers had found the sympathetic voice to reveal Beast's inner conflict. It would give me great pleasure if you would join me for dinner. <laughs> Believe it or not, Robbie Benson was the thunderous voice of Beast in the 1991 Disney film Beauty and the Beast. Leif Garrett worked as a child actor, then in the 1970s became famous as a teen idol in music. At the end of 1976, Garrett signed a five-album recording contract with Atlantic Records. Despite his music proving quite successful, he mostly stopped recording music in the early 1980s and concentrated on acting for the rest of the decade. I turned down a scholarship for this chance. I get kicked out of a cheap motel, I'm broke, and on top of that my goal is to run away. Later, he claimed that producers did not want him to make music aimed at an adult audience when he reached his early 20s and that it was the main reason he quit music.
Sean Cassidy released his self-titled debut album while still in high school. The album catapulted him into stardom almost overnight. He was cute as hell, and could sing, no wonder he became a superstar. And then he got a starring role in one of the biggest TV shows of his generation. Millions of fans, gay and straight, tuned in each week to watch the Hardy Boys adventures. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to click like and subscribe. Also, check out some of the other videos on this channel.